Hey everybody, uh, yes, it is Frog Leap Friday, and my name is Old School Nerd. However, um, because um, Leo is doing a uh, cover with his daughter, I'm not allowed to do a reaction to it until my, daughter, my daughter, Caroline, gets off of uh, school and can come home. So I won't better do it this morning. So that one will come out tomorrow morning, right before the live stream where we play Among Us. So instead I thought, you know what? We'll keep the Friday covers going, but let's do a double Pantera today in two totally, totally different ways. It's time for a reaction. Hey everybody, my name is Old School Nerd, and uh, as, of, as I said before, we're doing a double Pantera. Now, the first thing we're going to do is one that you wouldn't expect from an artist that's doing a Pantera color cover, but it's very unique, and it's fun as hell because it involves two feet, two kick drums, and a hurdy-gurdy. All right, his name is uh, Gilliam uh, Desk, a uh, folk artist, and he's doing a cover of Pantera Cowboys from Hell using a hurdy-gurdy and foot drums. I, I have no idea what any of that means, but um, the only way to find out is to check it out. Speaking of checking out, check us out on oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all the social media posts, the Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel, and there's new information coming out over there, and the merchandise store. Let's go. <laughs> you can hear it. He's got so okay, great stopping point. Dirt. Um, he's got so much stuff going on. He's got that that cover top that he's clapping. He's got the keys. You're watching him turn that crank, and it's he's tapping it to get that 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 that, which is really great. And let's not even talk about the level of musicianship and the feet at the same time. Do I see organ pedals for the bass line on the bottom where his feet are? <laughs> this is great stuff. There's so much going on. What's really weird, not weird, but what's really interesting about it is um, normally when people see people play hurdy gurdies like like Patty Gurdy and, and different people, all you think of it is they're just playing little keys like it's an accordion. 
but they're using a crank turn style to create the resonance vibration with the wheel. See, every when they crank the hand crank, this wooden wheel right here spins and it has a, a texture to it that causes resonances on the different sets of strings all around the hurdy gurdy. And that resonance acts similar to a rosin bow on a violin, but in a compact frame. So when he goes, I like when he was playing earlier, he would go backwards with the handle and it would change the tone of the resonance, which was different. What I didn't expect him to do was to bust open the top cap and start fiddling with the innards of this thing like he's a hurdy-gurdy Edward Van Halen on here. But um, he's got the entire guitar solo down and then some. I've only heard this song, the original, about a thousand times. I mean, it's been on the playlist since, oh, I don't know, 1990. So it's, I've heard it a couple. So I kind of have the guitar solo in my brain on command. I can hear it in my head. And uh, he's doing that and a little more, which is kind of awesome. Kudos to the footwork, man. I mean, his feet are ugly as shit. Mine aren't pretty either. So it takes one to know one, but he's got a lot going on. He's got a lot going on, like literal one-man band shit going on. We're going to back it up just so you can see him manipulate all this stuff all at once. It's way too much going on. Way too much going on. Whew. It's a lot. I couldn't stop it because I was like, I want to stop it, but, but I'm so lost in this thing. This is probably one of the best covers of Cowboys from Hell I've ever heard. And that includes Steven Seagulls. And this guy's doing it by himself, which is Awesome. Um, where's Mike Alvarado when you need him? Like, seriously, I need Mike Alvarado's stamp of approval on this. And um, if Mike Alvarado does give me the stamp of approval on this, we're going to pin his comment to this video because he's the only person that I know, besides myself, that loves Pantera as much as I do. Yeah, and he lives in Texas, so there you go. Go ahead. doing the tags at the end. <laughs> firm handshake and a firm golf clap on that one. Uh, done. <laughs> How do you not? And I guarantee you he's got all kinds. That could be the coolest thing ever. Um, uh, Gillum, if you ever, I'm assuming, Gilham, Gilham, sorry if I don't say your name right. My name's Richard, so I don't say that right either. Um, if you ever see my reaction, know that I hope you enjoyed this because you, wow. As someone who's seen Pantera multiple times and grew up on them, the Abbott brothers would definitely be proud. Oh.